Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wendy Coop and this is the Savvy Brown Girl channel. And on this channel, we do cash stuffing, budgeting and savings challenges. And I realized that there was a video missing where we didn't talk about actually how to do this cash envelope thing. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. The bare minimum that you need to get started doing cash envelopes. So, as you've seen in my previous videos, I have, well, you haven't seen this yet, but this is my wallet that has cash envelopes in it. And I've got one, two, three, four other cash binders for different time periods. One's for business, one's for monthly, one's for, there's supposed to be a quarterly one, and this is the long-term, like, yearly envelope. And one of the reasons I'm missing the quarterly binder is because I ran out of envelopes uh, to put in there. So once I have those envelopes made, you'll see, you'll see that. But just to get started, you don't need any of these things. All you need to get started is an envelope. Now you probably have some in your house. Um, this is uh, one of those security envelopes where you can't see through it. Um, it doesn't have to be this big. This, it could be a small one that fits your dollar bills. But point of the matter is, is that all you need is one envelope. And then write on that envelope whatever it's for. And for most people, if you're wondering what you should start with, you're going to start with the category where you tend to overspend the most. And for most of us, that's going to be food. So across the front of this envelope, I would write, groceries. And by the way, if you hear any beeping, don't worry, nothing is wrong. Um, that is just a system in our house that is beeping to let us know it is still active. So, um, so yeah, take an envelope, write groceries or food on the front of it and fill this envelope by paycheck. Okay. So you're going to need to figure out how much you need per paycheck to go into your groceries envelope. And when you go to the grocery store, take this envelope, leave your debit card at home. Leave your credit card at home because you are only spending grocery money out of this envelope. So how do you know how much money to put in your groceries envelope? Well, if you haven't been keeping track, what you should be doing, what you should start doing is keeping track of your receipts. Now in my wallet, and this is, I love this wallet. I'll link to it in the description below because it's got envelopes and a little, the, the rings here, the binder rings. But in my groceries envelope, I keep the receipts so that I can better um, analyze exactly what in the grocery store I'm spending money on. I can track price changes, things like that, since I'm the one doing the majority of the grocery shopping in this house. And then right before that, I have a um, a budget thing where you can where I can keep track to say how okay we have twenty three dollars left in the groceries envelope um, until the next paycheck. But the point is for you to say okay how much do I need and then keep track um, whether you do it here or in a notebook or. Uh, in a spreadsheet like Google Sheets doesn't or, or in an app. I don't care as long as you're tracking what you're spending. If you don't know how much to put in your groceries envelope, look at the last month or so. If you've been using your debit card, then look at your bank statement. Otherwise, um, all you have to do is look to what you've been spending before and then guess that you'll probably spend around about that same amount. Now, since it's August when I'm making this video, a lot of kids are gonna to start to go back to school and your grocery budget might change if you have kids. So in that case, you may wanna look back to when school was in session to see how much you were spending on groceries then to determine whether or not you need less money or more money. Again, this is by paycheck. You don't have to plan for the whole month, you just have to plan for the next paycheck with the money you already have. Um, I'm gonna take out my driver's license here so you can actually see the rest of this envelope. So I've got like eight envelopes in here. 
I think I put it in upside down because there's supposed to be, there's a pocket here and there's, um, there's a place to put a pen in there, but I never do. And then there's a place for your ID, your coins, and your cards. So that's, um, that's my wallet. I love it. Again, link in the comments. If you want to have a separate binder, you can. These are all on Amazon. You can get a with the envelopes in them. You can get labels for them. You can get all kinds of colors. You can get these clear ones that are fun too. Um, this is from Soul Mama. And it came with some uh, pre-labeled envelopes. Let me make sure this is in frame. So what you use eventually is going to be determined by what you need to save money for. But for now, one envelope is all you need. All you need to get started. Now to make the rest of the budget, just take a sheet of paper and you're going to simply list your income and all your expenses. That's bills, surprises, anything that you need to pay for out of your income and then what's left over should be zero because that's called a zero base budget so when you give your dollars a job at the end income minus expenses should equal zero that means every dollar from your paycheck has a job has something to do whether that's savings paying off debt, housing, transportation, or whatever you need to pay for, um, uniforms, school supplies. Are you saving for Christmas or another holiday? You know, all of these things should be accounted for under your expenses. But that's all you need to do to get started. Put your paycheck here under income and any other income you may get, like from side hustles, minus your expenses will equal zero. And when you do this, you're probably gonna forget things at first. Because if you're trying to remember off the top of your head everything that you pay, you're gonna forget. I did it at the beginning, sometimes I still do. Um, but just to make sure that you don't forget, look back at your debit card statement or your credit card statement to make sure that you've accounted for everything that's come out in the past month so that you know when um, when these bills and when these expenses are due. And again, your income minus expenses should equal zero. If you have a positive balance after you do this, then that means you haven't given every dollar a job. If you have a negative balance, after you do this, then that means you either need to cut expenses, well, not either, cut expenses and raise your income. For a lot of people, it's really an income problem, but you need to look at your expenses to see how much you're spending in things and see if there's anything you can cut at the same time that you are increasing your income. But again, we want income minus expenses to equal zero. Does that mean you'll never eat out? No. Does that mean you'll never buy books again or have coffee or whatever? No, not necessarily. Those things are up to you. But every dollar needs a name. So that's it. That's really all you need to get started. Pen, an envelope, write your category on it. Keep this full of cash for the amount that you've budgeted and have a place to store said envelope when you go out. If you have any other questions about how to get started, um, the link to these supplies will be in the description as well as um, you can grab a free budget tracker that I've created or money tracker I think is what I actually call it. Um, the link to that will be in the description below. And that will help you track your income and expenses for, I think, a month. Um, and it's totally free. Um, so just sign up, uh, click the link and sign up and you'll get the PDF download. So that's all for today's video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.